Hi there. Today we're talking about the Smart Embedded Starter Kit. What exactly is that? What does it contain and how does it help you? Let's dive right in. Do you know what I like about working in the distribution business with semiconductors and displays? Well, every week you get to meet and work together with so many different hardware and software engineers. And of course, the expectations of our products and services differ greatly. But it seems that all are on the same page when it comes to evaluating a product. All have the same goal, to quickly get to the point where you can make a decision is this product for us or is it not? And with our Smart Embedded Starter Kit, we would like to enable you to, to make that decision and to make it quickly. And we think three areas are key. One, a comprehensive documentation. Two, software. And three, hardware. What do we mean when we say comprehensive documentation? Well, apart from the specification, goes without saying, we're talking about an interface description, 3D data, application notes, tutorials, um, EMI, ESD test results. All of that available right from the start. Because, let's be honest, who's got the time and the energy to call us every week just because another document is missing, right? Although, between you and me, uh, my boss kind of likes the idea of us talking regularly. Hmm. Just saying. Software. Smart Embedded is powered by an STM32 controller. Well, an ST Microelectronics is a well-known, well-established brand. So here we're talking extensive toolchain, CubeMX, sample code, online community, all of that helping you to get started quickly. In addition to that, if you are using TouchGFX, that software that will help you to create your graphical user interface. You'll find templates inside that program that show you what's possible. There's a dedicated website about TouchGFX with API reference material. It's well maintained, it explains all the widgets and methods and classes. On top of that, Glynn will provide you a sample project that shows you exactly how we read out data from an I2C device and display that information graphically or as text on the display. So just open the project, read the comments, grab the code. It's all there for you. Hardware. Yep, who would have thought? That's part of the package. Now this video is also going to be uploaded to YouTube. What do people do on YouTube these days? Right, unboxing. Let's get started. <music> Here we go. Let's see what's inside the box. First of all, the display. In this case, it's a seven inch with power over ethernet. And you'll also find a hello message from our team with important information concerning where to find documentation a quick start guide that will help you to get the system up and running in no time. Then we've got a power supply. A clean power supply is essential. And this is uh, important or applies to all displays, especially with projective capacitive touch. So that's important. And on a side note, having such a system, any display on your desk with the wires flying all over the place, that's okay for a while, but try to get this into your actual housing with all the other components, cables, main PCB if there's one. This will do you a world of good, especially when it comes to EMI. Programmer, ST-Link. Go straight to your PC via USB. This is the other side that connects the programmer to the display in order to flash the system. This belongs to the power supply, a 
couple of spare cables if you want to connect some peripherals to the ports, I2C, SPI, RS485 and so forth. And finally, we've got a little surprise. Let's see. This is a temperature and humidity sensor via I2C. So such a little device that you find in the box can be hooked up to the system and used directly um, with our sample project. I'd say, let's fire it up. With our starter kit, you can get started right away. If you've got questions, give us a call or send an email. We'd love to support you with your next project.